Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by your RC experts here at Horizon Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. Today we're going to talk about how to switch out your servo and ESC on your Arma 6S platform. Before we get started, we need some tools. We need a 5.5 nut driver, a 2.5 hex wrench, a 2.0 hex wrench, and also if you like, a speed wrench as well. And one other thing to do is make sure you have the correct servo horn for your servo uh, that you're putting in the vehicle as well. So make sure you have that, the correct one. All right, now let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is switch out the ESC. We're gonna need a two millimeter wrench and we're gonna use a speed driver to do that. We'll move the two screws on the side of the ESC that hold the ESC to the ESC mount, which is attached to the chassis. Once you get those screws out, we'll go to remove the switch as well from the receiver box. Now we'll go ahead and remove the four screws that hold the receiver box cover on. Go to remove the receiver box cover. You're gonna unplug the fan. Then you're gonna plug the motor wires. Move the ESC out just a little bit. You're gonna unplug the ESC from the receiver and out of the receiver box. But first, before you do that, there is actually a little mount on the bottom that holds the wire in place in the bottom of the ESC mount. You're gonna have to remove as well. Once you get that out of the way, now you can go ahead and unplug your ESC from the receiver. Go ahead and grab your new ESC. We'll pretty much do the same order, but in reverse. So we'll go ahead and make sure that your ESC is in the right location, because um, there's one way versus the other way. So go ahead and we're going to plug your ESC into the receiver and make sure the polarity is correct and in the right port. So you're gonna do the throttle port. You're gonna put it in the little rubber boot here to keep everything all watertight. Again, don't forget to, to put the mount on down there at the bottom there to hold your wire in place. That is a two millimeter as well as all the other ones. Again, when you're tightening everything back, don't over tighten anything because you don't want to strip anything out. So again, make sure you put your ESC in correctly. Your motor wires are normally towards the middle. Once you got your two screws installed here, we'll go ahead and install the receiver box cover. When installing this, I like to do like a little star pattern. Um, do one corner, then the opposite corner, then the other side corner. This is where everything gets nice and tight without stripping anything. Once you have that on, you go ahead and mount your switch to the back of the top of the receiver box. Once you have that, we'll go ahead and plug our fan in Make sure the polarity is correct, because if not, it will not work. Go and wrap your wires underneath the center brace. And of course, when you're attaching the motor wires to the ESC, um, blue to blue, yellow to yellow, to orange to orange. There you go, that's how quick and easy it is to switch out the ESC. If it comes time that you need to replace the servo, we're gonna show you how to replace the servo. Again, when you're selecting your servo, make sure you have the correct servo horn for your servo. Um, we're gonna switch this one out here real quick for you. It's four screws on the top and they're two millimeters. And also you have to remove the four uh, receiver box screws as well. 
and also the servo horn uh, screw as well. So you have a total of nine screws you gotta remove to get everything out. So let's get started. Now you're gonna take the receiver box cover off. Here you're gonna need a 2.5 millimeter wrench to take the servo horn off. Take the servo horn off. Go and pull your servo out. You have to remove it from the also the boot on the side of the receiver box. You have to remove it from there as well. And unplug it from the receiver. Once you have that one out, you're gonna feed the new servo lead through. Once you have that fed through, you can put the servo in and make sure it's in the right direction for the servo horn as well. So make sure it's in the right spot. Go ahead and feed it through the rubber grommet. So everything stays watertight. Go ahead and put the ESC through the rubber grommet as well. Go ahead and plug this in to the channel one. Make sure the polarity is correct when you're putting it in. Route that in there. You can go ahead and put your receiver box cover back on. Now let's go ahead and put the servo screws in. And remember, don't over tighten your screws. Now since we're putting a different servo with a different spline uh, on it, we'll have to change the servo horn out. So go take this one off. This one you'll need a two millimeter and a 5.5 nut driver. You'll make sure your wheels are straight. You put your servo horn on. Also make sure your servo is centered as well. Uh, you may have to fine tune it a little bit once you have everything on. So make sure everything's good. Push down. There you go, that's how quick and easy it is to switch out the servo on your Arma 6S platform. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more helpful videos from RC experts here at Horizon Hobby.